Hello, Lang. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm getting used to the whole new Hangouts. Have you noticed there's a new Hangout? Uh, yes. Yes. Actually, actually uh, in the morning, I was surprised a bit about this new appearance of Coingo website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so new. I'm getting used to everything. It's like, oh my god. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm just saying to Ling that I'm getting used to this whole hangout. My face looks enlarged. I don't like this. <laughs> oh my god. It's so like, strange. Like a video. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's more. Like um, movie. movie. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's like very vit. How can I describe it? It's it's just good quality now. It's but I'm still kind of lagging. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys finding the new Kalengo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. I just yeah. I I didn't have a look through it yesterday, but I only started looking through it this morning, and it wasn't enough time. So how are you guys anyway? How is everything with you? Both of you. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Heidi, how's your cast? Cast is still on my, on my uh, hand. Um, it's the stinky still. <laughs> and some, sometimes it's painful. Oh, is it still? Oh. Yeah. Are you still taking medication, Heidi? No, nothing. I already threw mm -hmm. away. Threw away. Oh, really? You threw it away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you don't need it anymore then? I don't. I don't need. It. I took meds only once, uh -huh. only one day. Oh, that's okay. Day. It was very painful. So. Oh, was it? Oh, and you didn't need to take it after the second day then. It was just the first day. Yeah. Yeah. Only mm -hmm. one. Good, 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 good. Okay. And Ling, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. How is the studying going? Uh, study is, it... is always stressful, but today, you know, I decide to stop my studying. Uh -huh. No study in class, no study in my table. I just want to check thing in Kalingo class. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, Kalingo all the way. Uh, it's good you can you know come on to Kalingo when you are free. So it's good that you joined us today. I'm glad you joined us, Ling, and yes. welcome again. Okay. And Marad, how are you? It's early in the morning there, isn't it, Marad? You must be exhausted from work. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Very silent. Very Can silent. A little bit. Um, yeah, because my family members in the other rooms are sleeping. Ah, that explains it. Because you're not usually that um, silent with a voice, are you? Okay, we'll try and be quiet too. I don't want to. I don't want to be loud. <laughs> I don't want to wake your family members up. Um, how's everything, Murad? How was work? I know you're working, aren't you? Late nights. You do late nights, don't you? If I can remember. Is that right? No, I used to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now I, I don't do it. Okay. Okay. So what time is it there? In Mexico. Is it Mexico? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one... Oh, early in the morning. Okay. Well, look, we'll get stuck into the lesson, guys, shall we? I'm getting used to the whole uh, new Hangouts Murad. It's very different. It's like I can see a big enlarged portion of me, video of me. I don't like it. It's too close. <laughs> I know. I don't like it. But it's nice. It's The quality is really good. I've noticed the quality has definitely improved. What do you guys think of the quality of the new Hangouts? Any comments? No? I think I'm used to the other. 
I think yeah. uh, it ran well. Up to now, it has run run well. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ling, I agree with you there. But like I said, it's going to take time for me to get used to the whole shebang, you know, just not used to it. Anyways, we'll get stuck into the lesson, guys, okay? Now, today we are going to be talking about food and health. Red meat increases risk of cancer. Is it really true? What do you think? So we will talk about that and read about that. And our grammar today is going to be second conditional. Okay. Um, we will go into the grammar. But before we go into the grammar, what would you do if you could be invisible for a day? So let's say nobody can see you. You were invisible. What would you do? Who would want to answer that? Okay. <laughs> if I, I were invisible, mm. I would uh, ride on an airplane secretly. Mm. Secretly. Mm. And what yeah. would you do in that airplane, Heidi? Airplane, uh, first class. Oh, first <laughs> class. Oh. Okay, so it's just to enjoy the luxury of being in first class, right? Yeah. Travel abroad somewhere. Yeah. You love to travel, Heidi, don't you? You love to travel. <laughs> love to it's good. Travel. You Make sure you come to the UK next. Do you hear me? London. Make sure you go. You will love London, Heidi. But you if will love. it's for free, further is better. <laughs> so maybe cheap. <laughs> Yes, I know that's true. You'll have to wear like maybe four different types of jackets just to keep warm. If it's that cold, especially in December. Oh, unbearable. Oh, summer season is coming. So. Oh, summer season is perfect. Yeah, the summer season is a good time, but it's still cold, mind still you. Still cold, yeah. Yes, yeah. Compared to Japan, it is still cold, but it's not as bad as December. So, still take a jacket anyway. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi, for that. What about you, Ling? What would you do if you were invisible for a day? Uh, well, if I was invisible for everyone, I would go to the bank and I would, and I would pick all the money in that bank. And you know, you know, I will save for you if you like. You have sorry? What? I will save. For you, if you like. I didn't hear that one. What was it? I have a sale. Uh, if I was invisible for everyone, uh -huh. I would go to the bank and pick all the money in that bank. Ah. And ah. I will sell for you if you like. Oh, sale! Is it sale? This one? Sale? Send. Oh, send to me. Oh, you would send me some money. Share. Okay. Share. Uh, I thought you you sounded like you said sale. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you said sale. I was like, I would love to sail with you any day, Ling, as long as you have your boat for me. I would definitely sail with you, definitely. <laughs> Okay, share all oh, Ling, you're very generous. That's awful kind of you. I would be happy to take that other part of share. But you have to give some to your family first, of course. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ling. And Murad, what about you? I visit different countries. Mm -hmm. I take planes. Mm -hmm. I'm invisible. People mm -hmm. won't be able to to see me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would take whichever plane I, I would like to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Visit different countries in this huge world. Exactly. Where would you like to visit, Marad? What I type of like country? To visit Italy, France, the UK without exception. Okay. Yeah, the UK is a, a good pick, a good choice, definitely. Okay, good. Go to Arabia too. Oh yes, another place, of course. You cannot miss that, Mara. Definitely, yeah. Okay. At that time, I would visit all the countries. 
mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in just one day. Oh, yeah. if only. I know. If only, Murad. If only. Well, I suppose we can wish. We can wish, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's all about the second conditional, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so I just want to brush up a few things in the pronunciation. Okay, now you know, guys, there are three ways to pronounce the ED. So a word ending with ED, there are different ways to pronounce it. Okay, so the first one is <clears throat> focusing on the T. So, for example, I laughed out loud. Okay. So we don't add a syllable. We use the T sound when the sound before the ED is breathy or voiceless. Okay? So for example, we have another couple here. Walked, pushed. Okay? The second sound would be with the D. Okay? So for example, I loved that movie. I loved that movie. So you, you can see I'm pronouncing the d, 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 okay? Not the t, 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 okay? So we don't add a syllable, okay? So we use the d sound when the sound before the ed is buzzy or voiced, okay? So for example, begged, played, okay? I sound so silly when I do pronunciation, <laughs> okay? And then the third point is when we have the IHD, okay? So for example, wanted, needed, okay? That is the third one with the IHD, okay? So I want you guys to listen to the verb and change it into the past tense for me using a sentence, okay? So I want you to focus on your pronunciation, make a sentence, and change it to the past tense. So we have a few examples here. So let's try Heidi. Heidi, can you maybe change look into past tense and make a sentence and focus on the pronunciation? Now looked is the, what is look? Looked. looked. Yes, looked. with the T. T, T, T. Yes. <laughs> okay, so can you make a sentence and focus on the pronunciation? Okay, I looked at mountains through window. Good girl. I looked through the mountains. I looked at the mountains through the window. Yes. Murad, can I give you one? Can I give you push? Push? Somebody pushed the door. Good. Yeah, Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Focusing on the T. Yep. Yeah. And um, Ling, what about you? Uh, I will give you want. Want, want, wanted. Good girl. Yes. Can you make a sentence with wanted? Uh, in the past, I wanted to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. A new car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent, Ling. Okay, guys. So that I just wanted just to brush up on the pronunciation. Okay. So let's move on to the grammar. Now, the second conditional we're going to learn about today, okay, I'm going to screen share this for you to get used to this whole system shebang. Oh, okay. By the way, I have a question. Yes. I noticed in British English, the sound uh -huh. D looks like T. I don't know. Mm, give me an example. For example, the word T. It sounds like this, or do tid, tid, or ted, ted. Um, or the verb did. Uh, I don't know. Have you heard that before? When British yeah. say did, they pronounce it tid. Tid, like this. Yes. Oh, you heard that for? Not really. It it all depends whereabouts in England. That you, because some people in England they pronounce certain things differently, yes. But in the southern area of um, England, such as London, Bristol, Brighton, all them places, they do pronounce this in a sharp way. So you might see, you might hear some people say tid instead of did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right there. But the right way is 
um, focus on the correct pronunciation is did, okay? But a lot of people in England, we have slang. <laughs> it's all about the slang. So some people, they don't pronounce words properly anyway, but the correct way is did, not tid, okay? Yes. Yeah, it's all about the accent, Murad. It is all about the accent, definitely. Okay. Like, for example, um, often. I pronounce it often, okay? Some people pronounce it in the UK often. So it all depends because we are based in Northern Ireland. Majority of the people in Northern Ireland say often. But in England, some people say often and often. So it all depends. Yeah. Yes, it depends. Yeah. All right. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so let's jump on to the grammar, shall we? Okay, so I have I screen shared this for you guys? No, you still see me. Okay, let me do the screen share this. Oh dear, guys. Okay, I'll make it a bit bigger. I know you guys are saying to yourselves, I can't see this. Okay, second conditional. Can anyone maybe tell me if they remember what the second conditional is before we move on? Hypothetical. Mm hmm Okay. So imagine <clears throat> if you uh, had some situation and how mm -hmm. do you do? How would you do that? Like that? Mm hmm How would you do? Imaginary, yep. Yeah. Imaginary situation. That's right. Yes, yes. Can you give me an example, Heidi, of using the second conditional? Okay. If I encountered a, a star shark while I was listening, <laughs> I would kick his it, uh, nose. <laughs> I would get to know. Okay, good. Yep. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> like Heidi did say, it's referring to something that's untrue imaginary. The second conditional refers to events in the future. The past simple tense is used to talk about the future condition. Would plus the base verb is used to talk about the future result. So, the most important thing to remember is that there is an untrue, highly improbable possibility or imaginary thought, like what Heidi just mentioned. I don't think Heidi would like to swim with the sharks. So, that will definitely be an imaginary <laughs> statement. Okay, so we'll have a look at two examples here. If I found a million dollars, I would buy a car, a new car. If Jenny married me, I would be a happy man. We have something improbable. If my boss was fired, I would not have to listen to him anymore. If I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. For something imaginary, if I had superpowers, I would fly to the moon. If you were a witch, you would fly on a broom. And then we have for something that's really untrue, that's definitely not going to happen. If it snowed in Costa Rica, we would play in the snow. If it rained in the Sahara, I would live there. Okay. You can construct the sentences with the result before the condition. So, in other words, we can swap it round. So, instead of having if at the start of the sentence, we have would. I would. I would buy a new car if I found a million dollars. I would be a happy man if Jenny married me. Okay. And then third, you can form questions using the second conditional. For example, if you won the lottery, what would you do? If you had a million dollars, what would you buy? So I want you guys to think of a question to ask each other, okay, with using um, the second conditional. Okay. So uh, Heidi, yeah. who would you ask? Can you make a question of who you'd okay. like to ask? Okay. Uh, Mura. Mura. What, okay, would you do? what would you do if you found a stray cow, stray cow on the street? Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, what was that? If you found a stray cow on the street, what would you do? I would look for the owner. Of the card and give it to them. Okay. So, yeah. 
Okay. And uh, Ling, what about you? Thank you, Heidi. What question would you give? Um, Heidi, um, if you met uh, Obama, what would you do? <laughs> I would ask him sign. You would ask him what, Heidi? <laughs> sign in my notebook. Ah. <laughs> Autograph. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can you say the full sentence if I if I met Barack Obama on uh -huh. the street, uh -huh. I would ask him to make a sign autograph on my notebook. I would ask him to sign his autograph yeah. on my notebook. Very good, Heidi. Okay, and, uh, good. I, I love Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> I love Heidi. <laughs> With a big love heart. <laughs> I don't think the wife will be happy anyway. <laughs> okay, and um, Murad, what about you? I think this question is for all of you. <laughs> okay, that's okay. What would you do if you had a billion dollars? Oh, that's that million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, a tough question there, Murat. Heidi, what would you do? Um, yes. You um, and Ling. You and okay. Ling. Yes. I invite all uh, students I, in the Goringo. I would invite. Uh -huh, yeah. Invite all Goringo students and the teachers uh -huh. for the party. Oh, and where would you hold the party, Heidi? Yeah, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hawaii. Oh, yeah, I love Hawaii. Oh, that would be an amazing destination. Oh, definitely. Okay, we will come. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, Heidi, thank you for that. Ling, what would you do? I will live in the UK for one month. Mm-hmm. You would, did you say visit? Yes, I would visit the UK for one month. I didn't get the last part. I would visit something, something. What UK, was it? U UK, UK. Oh, UK. UK. Oh, okay. I would visit the UK for, oh, wow, excellent. Okay. What would you do in the UK, Ling? What would you like to do there? I will travel on the famous destination in the UK. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. Good, good, that would be amazing, yes. And also you're forgetting one thing, Ling. What is it? It is shopping. Yes. Don't and forget your shopping. <laughs> yes, and eating. Yes, and eating, oh yes. They have beautiful restaurants there. Japanese, Turkish, Romanian, um, Indian, Chinese, Thai, everything, you name it. They have everything there. It is amazing, definitely. Okay. Any questions, guys, in regards to the second conditional? No questions. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, we have two people that joined. Hi, Guinea. Hi, Servet. How are you guys? Good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, yes. And how are you, Servet? You okay? I'm fine. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Hello. Ciao. Uh, Murat, how do you say marhaba? Yes. Marhaba. Marhaban. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Yay. Excellent. Okay, guys. Um, so, Eugenie and Servet, we were just going over the second conditional. Okay, and um, maybe I can ask you guys to give me a question before we move on to the article. You Guinea and Serpent, are you aware of the second conditional? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes, okay. So I can test you guys then. So if you can think of a question to ask any of the uh, people today in the Hangouts regarding um, the second conditional. So Serpent, we'll start with you. You can pick anyone or you can ask everyone. 
Okay. What can I ask? <laughs> what would you do if you woke up today and noticed that? <laughs> You are a woman. Oh, I'm you get sorry. It. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get sorry. it? Have to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but I knew you would come up with something funny. <laughs> what was the second part? <laughs> you don't want to know, you get it? <laughs> you you walk up pinch. and you walk up and notice that you were a woman. Um, oh God! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky one. I would be. One. I would be a little bit shocked. <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> yes. First. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> would you go out and explore the world? You guinea, would you go shopping and you know buy some shoes maybe? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> see, see what it's like to be a woman, because us w women we like to shop a lot. So yeah, I'm sure you know that already, you guinea. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what we are like? Omarad has commented on something. Omarad, do you want to read your comment <laughs> of what you would do? Yes, if I. Woke up in the morning and found I am a girl or a woman. I would simply go back to sleep mm -hmm. because I'm sure it's a dream. A dream, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. And uh, Eugenie, can you think of a question? Yes, I have a question. To uh, but, um, if you slept more, what time? What time would? What time would you be woke up? What time would you wake up? So we're thinking of more of imaginary thought here because second conditional is more like a highly improbable possibility or imaginary thought. So something that it can never really happen. Like for example, superpowers. If Heidi was a superwoman, you know, if Servet was a superman, something like that. Um but try and focus on the, the question form. Just a general question. Mm -hmm. Murad asked before, uh, what would you do if you won a billion dollars? That's not going to happen. You know, something like that. <laughs> mm. I don't know, my brain is not working. Is it not? Oh, God, love you. <laughs> so, well, so you cannot always ask relating to money, you know, something that's not going to happen. If you won a million dollars or if you found a million dollars on the street, what would you do? That could be a question. Any other questions that you can help you, Guinea, with before we mm, move yes, on? Yes, yes, I have, I have a question. Mm. Oh, good. What would you do if you were chasing, if you were chasing by Jeopardy? Oh, oh, wow. By who? By who? If I were be, if I were to be chased by who? Mm, Jeopardy. Am I right? I don't know this one. Can you type it? Maybe? I don't know it. I'm not sure how to type it. My screen is frozen again. Hang on, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Uh, just bear with me, guys. My is frozen again. Is a game. Oh. I said that I'm still still asleep and awake. Sorry, guys, I had to do something there. Um, 
Okay, so where were we? With okay, question form. So you can you give a question, right? Oh, let's say cheetahs. Cheetah. Oh, you mean leopard, right? Yes. 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 If I okay, were right. chased by a leopard or a cheetah, mm. I would play a death. <laughs> oh, wage war with the cheetah. <laughs> Ask Sarah with a sword. <laughs> okay. Good, good. Okay, guys. So let's quickly jump on. Very good, guys, there. Just try to practice this in your own time as well, of course. Um, all right, guys. So let's move on to the article. Okay, and um, let me. I'm so getting used to this, guys. Oh my God, Eugenie and Servet, how are you guys coping with the whole new hangout? Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm getting used to everything. I feel like my face is like close up like this. Oh, it's so strange. Oh. Um, I just it will take me a while to get used to this, guys. So yeah, just bear with me and let me find the article. Two seconds. Okay, I found it. Hooray. There you go. Article Tam. Let me get myself organized. Let me get myself uh, to the article. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guinea. I am so sleepy as well today. I woke up at four. I decided to study. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm crazy. I know. I am so exhausted. I fall asleep at four. You fell asleep before? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. You must be exhausted as well. And then you woke up now. Yes. Oh jeez. I am I'm starting to feel it now. I've had two coffees, but still I feel exhausted. I think my body is telling me, go to sleep. Um you know, when you always get that. Okay, so guys, the title today is about red meat. Is it, a, is it a good thing? Can it cause cancer? Um, now let me just get myself... Okay, so red meat increases risk of cancer. Let's have a read about this article, shall we? Okay, um, we have two paragraphs here. I'll do the first reading part, okay? Um, so you can listen to me. Okay. Health authorities in Britain have advised against eating too much red meat. The British government has issued a set of red meat guidelines which caution against eating more than 500 grams a week or 70 grams a day. This is the equivalent of two beef burgers, scientists. Um, making a bigger. Oh, beef burgers. Scientists say that eating more than this increases the risk of getting colon and bowel cancer. The new limits are down on the 90 grams a day recommended in 1998. Researchers think people who eat a lot of meat like lamb, beef, ham and bacon have a higher risk of cancer. A 2005 European study found people who ate about 160 grams of red meat a day increased their bowel cancer risk by one-third compared to people who ate little meat. People have around a 1 in 19 chance of developing bowel cancer in their lifetime. Scary guys, isn't it? Okay, who wants to read the second part now? Who would like to read the second part? Me. Oh, it's all quiet. Yes, serve it whenever you're ready. <laughs> Experts told people the new guidelines did not mean people had to abandon red meat. The head of health information and cancer research, UK, said, this doesn't mean people have to become vegetarian. But if you are having a steak every day, steak, steak, steak every day, steak. Mm -hmm. steak every day, that's probably not helping. Mm -hmm. Scientists are unsure as to why red meat increases the risk of colon cancer. They suspect that him, ha I him, think that's ham. I don't know. Let me just check that one. I'm not sure about that word actually. But keep reading. Keep reading. Uh, the pigment that gives meat its color damages the cells on. in the digestive system and. Yes. 
The line yes. of the column, yes. Okay, sorry, server, to butt in there. So I don't forget. It's a type of a chemical element. So it is that word, sorry. Yeah, it's found in the pigment of uh, meat. Okay, keep going. Sorry, servant. A World Cancer Research Found official said, following simple diet and lifestyle advice can help protect against cancer. Red meat can be part of a healthy, balanced diet. It's a good source of protein and vitamins and minerals. But people who eat a lot of red and processed meat should consider cutting down. Mm, okay. So guys, what do you think of this article? Do you think if you were to eat meat every day that can actually uh, give you an increased risk of having cancer? Red meat is a um, cow meat, right? Beef, no? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, mm -hmm. um, America eats more more than 70 grams. Mm -hmm. Maybe a day, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. I think the amount is important here because I guess one how what is it? Seventy grams of day. A day, yeah. And but if you're to eat, which caution against eating more than five hundred grams a week or seventy-five uh, grams a day. This is equivalent of two beef burgers. So I think that can, if you were to have that amount, that could be a risk. Seventy grams is a very small amount. I know. Egg is over uh, fifty grams, so mm -hmm. a little bigger than egg egg size. Like I think because um, if I compare how people eat ham here in yes, the UK, yes. they yeah. would have a ham butty. Have you guys mm. heard of that? It's like a bap and a piece of ham and egg. They would have that every day, okay? And then in the evening they would have steak probably. And then the, at lunchtime they would have probably a beef burger. So do you think that could be too much protein? Or do you think this is just the right amount? What do you guys think of that? Let's look at it that way. I think in terms of uh, body's need of protein or other things, mm -hmm. if you eat more than 70 grams, it will make make you feel food and you won't mm -hmm. eat probably vegetables. It will be the only resource of, uh, mm -hmm. it will be only source of nutrition for you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it will be too much. But Mm -hmm. 70 gram or less mm -hmm. is normal for a person a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I do think that having too much protein can cause something. I'm not sure about cancer. I think that could be a bit too exaggerated, but it can increase a risk of heart disease. So of course, when you have too much fat accumulating around your heart, that can cause heart disease. I believe in that, definitely. Um, and also constipation. Have you guys heard of constipation? Oh, yes. Yeah. So if you were to have too many carbs and meat, I think that can cause you constipation as well. Problems at the toilet, another word. Um, yeah. So what about the rest of you guys? So Servit, thank you for that comment. And Heidi. What about you, Guinea or Murad, Ling? Any comments? To me, everything in this world is just a double-edged sword. Sorry, Murad? What was that? Sorry? Yes, I said, in this world, everything uh -huh. is a double-edged sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is especially true when we talk about excessive consumption. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not just meat, it's other things as well. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why it's it's recommended to consume food in a moderate way. That's right. Eat everything in a moderate way, definitely. Okay, yes. that's a good point, Mara, definitely. What about you, Ling? Or you, Guinea? <clears throat> um, I think that amount of uh, meat should depend on your inner... Um, how to say it. Your weight. Is it your weight? 
on your weight, yes, and maybe at, on your indigestion system, because if you uh -huh. if you can eat, uh, eat uh, a lot of meat, mm, mm -hmm. maybe just type of your body, because some people can eat a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, like, let's say, for an example, um, if somebody was to go to the gym, okay, every day, they need a lot of protein because when they want to beef up, mm -hmm. phrasal verb there, beef up, um, they need to eat lots of protein for their muscles to gain weight and to be stronger. So I think... It could be exempt if you were working out maybe, but I still think if you were to have more than 500 grams a week, it might be a bit too much, I'm not sure. Um, but I do think you have to eat in a moderate way. That is my overview on things, like what Murad said as well. Eat in a moderate way. Okay. Last but not least, Ling, any comments on this article? Um. I agree that the consumption of red meat depends on the the weight and the body of each person. Um, however, I just have a question that uh, do you know the low carb a uh, low carb diet? Atkin diet, yes, Atkin low diet, carb. yes. Low carb. That's um, this one is. Uh, Require people, um, it require people to eat a lot of red meat yes. instead of uh, carb. So whether or not they will have much more risk of mm -hmm. cancer than other. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so true, um, Ling. A lot of people, um, if they if they want to lose weight, they just need to eat red meat, and then they would lose the weight. Yeah. They are quite popular, Ling, for the celebrities. Um, one is called Atkin Diet, and one is called High Protein Diet. And there are no carbs allowed, yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be very popular, um, these diets. Um, um, you know, um, I, I worry about that. Um, I don't know, that's why people know that the uh, the consequence of eating too much red meat. Mm -hmm. However, they still they still mm, they still want to squeeze with this diet. And mm -hmm. even though some uh, doctor and some scientists they also advise uh, their person to focus on this diet. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, that's true. Um, Ling. Good point there, good point there, Ling. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, let's move on to the discussion questions. Before we move on, do we have any questions, any words that you guys are unaware of? <clears throat> no? Okay. Okay, discussion questions, guys. First question. I will give this one to... Serve it! Okay, yes. serve it. Is it okay to eat red meat on a daily basis? According to article, yes, it's okay, but in mm -hmm. moderation. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to eat in moderation. Okay, okay. So, how can you put that in a second conditional phrase for me? Second conditional. So, if you were to eat, yeah. If you were to eat meat, it is suggested that you should eat less than 70 grams a day. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. Well, because red meat wouldn't be really second conditional because you can probably eat red meat on a daily basis. It's just to practice on your structure of using the second conditional. So let's just say... If somebody was to eat, oh, I don't know, maybe five burgers of beef a day, now that would be 
improbable. That would be just highly improbable and not going to happen. I don't think anybody, even a obese person, would eat five or six burgers of beef a day, just beef. They would have other things added on top. So let's just say excessive. Okay, so you can use it for the second condition. You would say if I uh, was to eat red meat, I would feel exhausted, tired, dead, because I have no energy, too much meat in my system. Okay. Okay, so don't get that. Don't let that confuse you of the that question there. Okay, if you owned a fast food takeaway, would you eat there every day? So let's give this question to Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. If you owned a fast food takeaway, Heidi, would you eat there every day? If I owned a fast food shop. Yes. So fast food. Okay, you, if I own, yeah. own fast food uh, shop, uh -huh. hamburger shop, yeah, I would think about a healthy hamburger. Ah, good option. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And you, Guinea. Yeah. Um, if you owned a coffee shop, would you eat cakes every day? If I owned a coffee shop, yeah, I would eat cakes every uh -huh. other day. Okay, every other day. Okay, good, good. Okay, and I will give the same one to Murad. Murad, if you owned a coffee shop, would you eat cakes every day? Give a different response now. No, honestly, I wouldn't eat cakes every day. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> how could you put that in the second conditional form? So if, if I, I owned a coffee, coffee shop, shop mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat cakes every day. Okay, and Ling, I will give you the fast food takeaway. If you owned a fast food takeaway, would you eat there every day? Uh, if I own a fast food restaurant, I would not eat fast food every day. I wouldn't eat fast food, okay. Because yeah, I would not I eat. Of, be, because, I of, because I afraid of gaining weight. I'm afraid of, I didn't get the last part. What was the gaining last part? Gaining weight. Oh, gaining, gaining weight. weight. Thank you, Heidi. I don't know what's wrong with my can here. Maybe I should put the other headpiece in my ear. But when I put the other headpiece in my ear, guys, it's very distorted. The sound is like <laughs> pumping. I don't like it. I need to get the big headphones. Uh, Mr. Allen hasn't set my headphones off. He's very naughty. I have to keep bugging him. Okay, guys. So everyone has been questioned. Good. Okay. Okay, guys. Very good. Let's move on to the assessment, shall we? Get my assessment going on here. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I will ask you a question using the second conditional, and you guys will answer it using the second conditional. Okay? It's my throat. So I will give this one to Murad. Murad, what would you do if it snowed in Mexico? I would stay at home and watch it. Mm -hmm. An interesting movie or film. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And I will give to Heidi. Heidi. Well. Um. <clears throat> what would you do if it snowed in Japan? Ah. Okay. I would make a big, big, big snowman if it snowed in Japan. Okay. Good. Very what about the little sleigh? <laughs> Heidi, you're missing the sleigh. You know the little sleigh? Yeah. You sit on and you go gliding down the hill. You're forgetting that. <laughs> Japan. You need that. That's part of the package. Okay. Um, you guinea, I will give you a lovely question. It's one of them questions, you guinea. It's where it's like, <laughs> okay. What would you do if you won the lottery? Oh. Um, Didn't I say million dollar question? <laughs> <laughs> if I won the lottery, 
I would buy another one. <laughs> oh! Another one. Finally, you lose all. I know that's so true. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> that's a risk there, you guinea. A risk there. Okay. <laughs> uh, serve it. I will give this one to you. Um. This is different now. Okay. I will give you the first half of a second initial sentence, mm -hmm. beginning with I would, and you have to repeat it and add the second half, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of one. I'm thinking of one. Mm. I know, I'm thinking of one, serve it for you. <laughs> uh, pressure, 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 pressure. I know, because I... <laughs> <laughs> I want to use a different one. I can't think this morning. I really can't think. Um, okay, okay. I would clap. I would clap. Is Sakina sang a song to us. Oh. <laughs> okay. And that's never going to happen, so definitely second conditional there. Imaginary thought there. Serve it. Okay, good. Um, uh, Ling, I would leave the country. I would leave the country if I had enough money. Can you repeat the, the second part? I'm having difficulty here. I'm sorry, Ling. I, I will leave the country if I had a lack amount of money. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Second part, guys, and then we can wrap it up for today. So, <clears throat> um, let's think of this one here. Okay. Again, each student must must ask another student a crazy question using the second conditional okay so you may choose so one of you guys can pick or you can maybe ask everybody it's up to you okay so for example Mirage you can ask Servet or Heidi etc it's up to you so can I give you guys a minute to think of a question yeah give you some time to think of a crazy question, because we all know second conditional can be imaginary, highly improbable. Okay. Whenever you're ready, let me know. Oh, Heidi, are you finished already? Okay, good. What would you do if you encountered Bigfoot in the mountain? Oh, who's that for, Heidi? Servet. Uh, if I encountered a big foot in my in the mountains, I wouldn't get afraid because it would be my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Servant's not telling us something. That's <laughs> now we know what Servant's secret is. Servant has a big foot. <laughs> now everybody knows Servant about your secret. Okay. <laughs> uh, who else is ready to ask a question? Any you guys finished? I'll give you more time. Okay. What's that link that you can send? I should have a look at you that. You should check it out. What is it? Is that you you're getting there? <laughs> <laughs> Who oh is this? <laughs> Let me have a look. While you guys are thinking of a question. Um, Heidi, you're safe. You're done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we have to think of other people to think. Okay, let's have a look. It's taking forever to load. Why is that? Okay, now? I'll make again. Okay, Heidi, go on ahead. What would you do if you were surrounded by a lot of zombies? Ooh, who's that for, Heidi? 
Mm, rat, rat. Honestly, I would run away <laughs> immediately. But lots of zombies. Lots of them around. You can't run away from them. What would you do? <laughs> I would you have to think. A sweet smile. <laughs> <laughs> And hope they'll go away. <laughs> it's not loading for some reason. I'll have to watch it another time. Oh, a lovely panda. Yeah. Oh. It is lying down. She is so, it is so oh, funny. It's so cute. I have to look at it after, definitely. I love pandas. Okay, so quickly, guys, before we wrap it up, it's 7 o'clock. Quick. Another question, and then we can wrap it up. I don't think we'll have time to do more. Any more? One more question, guys. Quickly, 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 quickly. Who has a question? And then I'll let you all go. You are free. Selvit, what would you do if you find out yourself in a whale stomach? Whale stump? Stomach. Ah, whale stomach. Oh. Oh. In a whale stomach. What would, would I cook in whale stomach? I would find lots of gross fish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, that is the crazy question, you guinea. I love it. Good. I would oh. make fried fish. <laughs> fried, fried fish, did you say? Fried? Yes, fried, fried fish. fish. Uh huh. Okay. And that's it? And I would eat them. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, scrumptious, scrumptious. Okay. Okay, guys. I think we can wrap it up. Murad and Ling, you are safe until the next time. <laughs> I won't have time to ask the rest because I have another class now. I'm going to be late. So it was great teaching you guys. I loved it. And I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. I have another class if you want to join me, but all the best. Bye. I have to go. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye.